Oh, he's gonna... Oh, shh. Wow. Howdy folks, the Kaiju Cowboy here with another giant monster reaction video for you. It's time for part two of season one of Pacific Rim The Black. Great series from Netflix, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Last time we left off, Taylor and Haley were trapped in Bogan, but it looked like Shane was about to let them go, telling them to get out of here before sunrise or they're dead. Taylor and May had just piloted the Jaeger back to Bogan. It lost an arm on the way there. And now they needed to get out of there. They want to get out of there. They're tired of dealing with that crap. So it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that boy is going to have something to do with their escape or help them get out of there. But I, I don't feel like they're going to leave behind the Jaeger. So something's going to have to happen. They're going to have to get that one-armed Jaeger out of Bogan. I, I have a feeling like either May goes with them or boy has a uh, something to do with how they escape with his weird powers. He's got to be like kaiju blood inside of him, right? So it'll be interesting to see how that goes and what happens here. we got three episodes left in season one. Let's wrap it up. Let's check out the Netflix series, Pacific Rim the Black, part two. yee Let's go! Pacific Rim the Black. Escaping Bogan. Ah, there's the Jaeger. Are they like a, a power plant or something? It's supposed to be their new location, huh? Uh-oh. Close one. Far worse things than kaiju in the black. Hmm. That's a pretty deep statement. Isn't it sun up already? Shouldn't they be leaving? I feel like she wants to go with them. Yeah, well, who are they going to have pilot the Jaeger now? And if Copperhead finds them, who's going to pilot the damn thing? If the Jaeger isn't walking out here by end of day, neither is he. Dead. Should have just piloted with you. None of this would have happened. Dang. What? I got to get out of town? You know the answer. Hmm. It looks like the half of his face is working again. Uh-oh. Whoa. Didn't hurt him. But it didn't hurt him. Uh-oh. Boy's gonna step in now. Good job, boy. What happened? To, what'd that bullet do to him? Mm, do it. I threw the heart. I had a feeling May heard the gunshots. What's May gonna do? May needs to get out of there. Shane needs to be dealt with. Um... He's still trying to figure out what that is? Make some kind of your dad. No. Ever wonder no. Why? He, he sure doesn't treat her like a daughter. He never had a family. It was just a lie he told her. It wasn't pain he buried. He was hiding her memories. She's gonna snap. She's gonna kill Shane. Someone's gonna find them. The guy that went looking for Richter. He still doesn't have shoes. Uh-oh. That's gonna mess up their plan. I can show you. I don't know if I'd trust him. I don't trust him. Loa, suit me up. Oh no. Taylor, I strongly recommend that you I would trust Loa over this. Action. This ain't gonna go well. Initiating ghost protocol. So there's a protocol for this, huh? He well, seems to be doing alright. So far. This looks like the fight from episode one. One of them. Yeah, that's the fight from episode one. And we're gonna shower with blood here, yeah. Okay. For some reason, I thought that fight was his parents. I don't remember. Loa, come on, Taylor. Initiate solo drift. Ooh. Oh, jeez. That was a good kick. Yeah, step on him. Oh no. Really, May? How they're gonna beat it with guns? Hurry up, Bailey. Oh, she's going. Shane's gonna be so pissed. That's a great shot. I like that. Gladly, get Taylor out of there. Oh, May's taking over for Taylor. Oh, May hasn't drifted with uh, Haley yet. Gotta hurry, May. Connect. Let's save the girl talk for later. <laughs> there we go. Finally, a weapon. Woo, she's making a big mess. If they have to get into a kaiju fight with only one arm, though, this ain't gonna go well. Shane is pissed. He is a man on fire. Where did they get all the kaiju milk? That drift really messed him up. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, shh. Wow. Is 
Shane is ruthless. Holy cow, it's a way to end that episode. All right, that was a great episode. I, I, I was not expecting uh, Joel to get his head blown off by a flipping walkie-talkie bomb there at the end. Shane's got a... Uh, He's got backup plans upon backup plans, so they gotta watch their back from here on out. They should have made sure to let him kill him when he had a chance. Right? Joel'd still be alive if she did. But uh I figured May uh, I figured May would leave with him. I wasn't expecting Joel, but it makes sense because he was in he wasn't gonna get out of Jaeger. He didn't have much future with Shane anyway. So be interesting. We got two episodes left. Let's jump into the next episode. See where we go from here. We left Bogan. What's next? Boneyard. I was going to say she needed to get rid of that radio because I thought maybe Shane would track him with that. I didn't think he'd blow him up. And they just drifted together. She should know some. For you to be alone. Yeah, listen to her, May. I don't understand boy at all. She needs to wash her face, get Joel's blood off her face. i going to mess you up. I mean, she's already pretty much messed up, but she sends a kaiju. Yep. Whoa, what is that? Those are breaches. He's drowned him because he's got kaiju blood in him. What's Loa doing targeting him? Haley, we have to get out of uh -oh. here before the bridge opens. Whoa. Oh jeez. They gotta run into that thing. That's a hell of a jump! Is it gonna close on him? Where did they go? Oh, okay. I thought that would have taken him back to where the kaiju come from or something. Where's May going? I have a feeling she's going back to Bogan to kill Shane. Who's that? There's like a a ditch kaiju dug up there. Detected. Where? It's like a kaiju elephant graveyard. That's pretty cool. Loa, can you ID them? Scanning. Oh, they might be able to get an arm here. Why are there kaiju and Jaegers? Yet another danger of ghost drifting. Oh. Some of his memories merged with the thing him. is, with having Herc Hansen's memories, he probably has more skills like Joel say, said he would. I'm trying to figure out why... Oh, the biomech goes there to take dumps. Right? Why would there be Kaju and Jaegers in the same graveyard? Is this like a, a trap? Loa. Something's got to be coming out of these breaches, right? Well, there's Boa. Oh, no. That looks like a bigger one. That's just a category three? The thing is flipping huge. I like the shark like head though, that's pretty cool. Love that design. This ain't gonna go well with one arm. They should get like an arm from the other Jaegers. Move! Oh no. Boy's gonna save him somehow. I don't know how, but he's gonna save him. Oh, it's the biomech, right? What is that? Jeez. What in the hell is this thing? Is that... It's just looking at Boy right now. They probably share some similarities then. He's not trying to hurt Boy. I think they have like some connection. They're both experiments. Uh oh. It's acting like it doesn't want to fight them. I think. Did he just catch that punch? He just caught that punch. Boy is indestructible. No way. What is this kid? The biomech's got to be like freaking out by now too. Biomech's easy to understand. It's like, okay, are they communicating telepathically or something? Maybe it's piloted by one of his kind. I have no idea. This is flipping weird, but cool. It's flipping weird, but cool. I'm loving this. The hell? They're all going to drift together? Oh, what the hell? This is insane. Like, are they drifting as their Jaeger? What's going on here? Oh. I have to watch Uprising again. If this thing's from Uprising. So this is the Biomex memories. Ooh. Oh, is it the one that destroyed that building? No, it's like trying to dig down to where Boy was hidden. Right? I have no idea what's going on, but it's flipping cool. So... I th think... But knows Haley talked to Boy, wants to communicate with her. I think it's like, all right, your friend. Because him and Boy are probably alike in some sense. Oh, he's, he's bringing him an arm. All right. That's a good ally to have. That Biomech's badass. Just give us an arm. <laughs> I think it did. They got to get the paint job to match them. My OCD's going to kick in if they don't. Well, now they're going to have a weapon because that's going to have a cannon on it, right? Does it have a cannon too? No? 
It's got it, right? You need weapons. One. A vanadium steel saber chain. Oh, it's like our boon. They should scrap parts from the other Jaeger, see if there's more weapons. Nice. Come on, boy, get in. I can't I can't believe boys stop the flipping punch. Like this boy is indestructible. Right? The force of that punch to be able to stop something like that without being phased at all. Like even a kaiju would be phased. So what is boy? Really weird, really cool. Oh, he's feeding on something. What's he eating? Kaiju? That's how he stays powered though. He's eating kaiju and kaiju's blood and their guts and all their like they were like harvesting them and uprising, right? They're got some special abilities to keep you powered and stuff. You can power cells with them. Boy's like, that's my friend. That was a great episode. I'm loving this series so far. I mean, we got one episode left in the season, but man, it's been positive from the start. And this last episode, holy cow, did it add a whole bunch of mythos to it. Like, Biomech Apex, he's a, apparently a drone from Pacific Rim Uprising. So I gotta watch Uprising again to see where he came from. I, I, I don't really remember that movie very, very much. Uh, it wasn't very good, but uh, I guess they're building off of that. So that's one positive they took from the movie, I guess. But uh, I'm loving that. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where May went. I feel like she went back to Bogan to take care of Shane. So I think we'll probably close up one of the threads with that next episode in the finale. And we'll see where we end up by the end of this season. we got one episode left, about 20, 25 minutes left. Let's finish it right here. Let's have some fun with some more Pacific Rim, the black. Loving this new arm. Ooh, Harpoon! Showdown. We missed. At least they're doing target practice. It's smart. They're going to run out of power soon, though. They got to get some power cells. Do you have any idea how much power they have left? <laughs> you're all so helpful. Well, at least you hit it this time. I mean, when you're trying to harpoon a kaiju, they're pretty big. How could you really miss if you're pointing your hand right at it? I guess he's mentally, he's got to aim his arm right at it, right? Uh-oh. Is he solo drifting again because she jumped out? So, What's Lord, going on? I have nothing more to report. Hmm. Come on, Loa. I like the Loa AI character. I like how that's a cool little aspect There's of the show. There's another Jaeger? Where? Clayton City. 17.01 So her parents! Right, so are they in Clayton City or something? Uh oh. Shots fired. <laughs> they found May. Why'd she tell them to go away? Power grid never shut down in this part of Clayton. It's been five years though. What is giving them power? Like where where are they getting power from? They're like some nuclear plant still running? Solar panels? Even then, solar panels, windmills, any type of power plant still needs maintenance done to it. Oh. Boy's gonna soften her up. Hot chocolate. I don't feel like hot chocolate's something Australia is known for. Eh? Is it usually hot? I mean, I guess they have winters, but I thought it was pretty moderate climate down there. Aussies, let me know in the comments if I'm right. Do you drink hot chocolate in Australia? Hey, he chugged it. <laughs> That's mustache. What's going on, May? She's having a memory. She used to go to this restaurant all the time. She must be from Clayton. <laughs> Uh-oh. Shane. You don't know, like this song? It's pretty good. Does Taylor know how to dance? <laughs> May's tapping her foot, all right. Dance party. I have a feeling we're about to be shocked out of this. She just saw herself smiling for the first time. Uh-oh. May's messed up. She needs to deal with that. She just killed Shane. Should put an end to her troubles. I think that's where her family used to run her. I think her family used to run that cafe. You're from here? I think. Figured. It feels familiar. It always has, but... I think she's trying to unlock her actual memories by being home, right? Trying to figure out what's real and what's not. Shane uploading all that crap into her with that neural bridge. Yeah, it's definitely a, a symbol for the biomech. But I'm trying to... Who painted these symbols? Right? Is there like a faction in the post-apocalyptic world that worships that biomech? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there was. Maybe it's the sisterhood or whatever we heard about earlier. Oh. It's their parents' Jaeger. So their parents got defeated here, but where are they? Are the inside of it dead? The hatch is open. They got out. They can see the hatch open from there? I guess if its head's pointing down, probably, yeah. She's probably like, where did you get that arm? They know the hatch was open. It's from behind. Oh, well, it's empty. It's still got power. What's that? Oh, picture. Well, hold on to that. Well, I think there's a chance their parents are still alive since there's no bodies in the Jaeger, so. 
Is that Copperhead? Yeah. Uh oh. Of course. Oh, that was Lois saying, "Of course." I thought I thought May might have still been in there. They gotta get to the Jaeger. Or is uh is Apex gonna show up and help him? Uh oh. I think it's pretty smart. Oh no. That boy fight the kaiju. The thing can't hurt him. <laughs> boy fight the kaiju. If he can stop Apex's punch, what, what could he do to a kaiju? He's gonna fight him. He's gonna do it. Oh boy. We get to see what boy's really about here. He's made a shield around him. What the hell? So he can morph into a kaiju. Holy cow. Wait a second. Yeah, ride him. Ride that bucking Bronco. Yeehaw! Uh oh. Uh -oh. I don't think that was eight seconds. He is the drawings. His head. I'm still trying to wrap my head around what boy really is. He's like the Incredible Hulk. Kaiju style. You miss. Oh no, he didn't miss. Woo! Is she gonna solo drift with that one? Throw it at the hole. Oh, he got it. Woo! Ho oh, ho! I didn't know it could do that. That's pretty flippin' cool. Gotta give him a hand for that move. I would not be kicking a nuclear warhead. Right, that thing's nuclear, right? Uh oh, don't lose that arm now. Kaiju knows that's its only weapon, so it's going right for it. She can be able to launch that thing without being locked in? Woo, perfect shot. It must be a tactical nuke, not a big one. Woo. Boy, he's still trapped. How does he go back to boy shape? It's like the Hulk. He's got to unhulk. Uh oh. Hellhounds. Okay. Who is this? The Sisterhood controls the dogs. That looks like something you would call the Sisterhood, right? The Kaiju Messiah has come. The Kaiju Messiah has come. That's a hell of a way to end the first season. Holy cow. I gotta say, there was a lot packed into those seven episodes of Pacific Rim the Black. This first season was... Oh, this first season was amazing, really. It really was. I, my expectations were low after Uprising, but man, they knocked it out of the park, and I'm excited. I can't wait for season two now. We'll probably have to wait a year for that, though. But man, so Boy is Kaiju, but did the precursors make him, or was he made by humans? Right? Using kaiju blood and they tried to make something that they could fight kaiju with that's on their side? or I don't know. They have to, they're definitely going to have to address that in the future. I'm sure we'll find out more about him. But the sisterhood seemed to... I'm pretty sure that was a sisterhood there at the end with the dogs thing like the kaiju messiah has come or whatever. Whatever that means. But uh, So we got a new faction introduced right there at the end for the cliffhanger. Which looks to be like they're in control of the dogs. Makes me think they're not precursor kaiju like we thought at the beginning of the season. Man, there's a lot of moving pieces here. You got Taylor and Haley with May. You got Shane with Bogan. You got the Sisterhood with the dogs. You got the Biomech Apex. And then you got Boy who's like this... I think Boy is like the secret of this whole series, really. Uh, something... The connection between Boy and Apex and... What was going on in Meridian at the headquarters? Man, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go rewatch uh, the other Pacific Rim movies, and then I'll I'll probably do a review for this season and go more in depth on what I think's gonna happen and talk about the things I liked with this season. So uh, stay tuned for that. But if you like this video and you want more reaction videos and more reviews of Kaiju and Giant Monster action, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends, comment below what was your favorite episode of Pacific Rim The Black Season 1, what do you think's going on with the boy, what do you think happens in Season 2, where do we go from here? What's going to happen next year? Give me your best predictions in the comments below, let me know what you like about this video, what I could do to improve it, anything you like in the comments. Until next time, remember folks, don't drink downstream from the herd.